keola o kapoe, which means that the life of the land is the life of the people, or the breath of the land is the, the life of the people. And so we believe, as, as our ancestors did, that if the land is healthy, then the people are also healthy. I did this um, because my teacher, Mrs. Maya Satoro, she certified these trees for us as a senior gift to our class. I think it's a really special way to leave that gives us a last chance to connect with each other and with the land, but also leave something enduring that can, can nurture the land. And you know, the land has been nurturing me for as long as I've lived here. There's also learning that takes place when you're on the land that you can't quantify with numbers. You can't quantify it with a grade, but it strengthens who you are and, and how you contribute to society. And that's something that's also an important part of learning that is often overlooked, I think. It's a very hands-on experience, so it's like alternative education, really, <laughs> which we all really enjoy. You're not only helping uh, the environment, but there's a great sense of community here. We then learn how important it is to take care of the environment and why that's important. I think it's imperative that, you know, that's not only an, an individual choice of teachers to do that, but something that all teachers should do, that all schools should do, that should be a part of the curriculum because we've come to a point where I think we can no longer ignore. You know, it's, it's not like your average hands-on experiment, you know, like a lab or, you know, things like that. It's, it's a, an experiment with yourself outside. It's very educational for me because I'm usually a crackdown book person. I learn from books, I learn from my teachers, I'm, a, I'm classroom oriented. So to get the hands-on experience is a good opportunity for me. And it's something that, you know, I never took part in before. And so my first time. I named the plant Marshmallow. I planted the plant when it was in the pot. I took it out and loosened its weeds and I put it in the ground. This is my baby sister's plant. We all have the opportunity to really go out and really take care of it and love it. In our community, there are so many kids who really need to have this kind of experience. We have to help the future generations understand that they are not separate from the plant that we're The whole principle and value seems to be, you know, preservation, restoring and rebuilding. As a citizen of the world, I have a responsibility to improve the world. That sums up this experience. It's fun, educational, and it's just good for every part of you. <laughs> yeah. I want people to know how much fun this is, because we're all having a great time. Like everyone, if you look around, is smiling, and we're all actively doing work. No one's just kind of hanging around, waiting for someone else to do it. So once you get out here, it's really worth it. The land, that the world, the earth is, is part of who we are. And once, if we take care of that, then we're taking care of ourselves. <laughs>